Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and you're watching Makeover with Mel. Today I thought I'd do a little get ready with me, a little chit chat, uh, using some Wet n Wild products. I've got the Wet n Wild Concealer, the Wet n Wild Foundation, Wet n Wild Bronzer, and one of the new Wet n Wild uh, eyeshadow palettes and whatever else I can find. I got some Wet n Wild lipsticks and I may have some Wet n Wild lip liners and I think I've even got some Wet n Wild blush. Yeah, that's what you call it, blush. But yeah, we're going to use some Wet n Wild stuff um, and just get ready and chit chat. So if you like this kind of video, just stay tuned. Okay, so I've already primed my face with the e.l.f poreless face primer. I like it. I just use it on occasions though. Um, first, we're going to use the foundation. It's Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's in Buff Bisque. And it's got, it's a, a glass container and it has a dofu on it, a flat dofu. So what I'm going to do is put it on half of my face face. It's a little darker than what I need right now, I think, for this time of year, but I'm not going out to buy a new foundation every time the year changes, every time the seasons change. And I know there's things that you can buy to put in stuff to either make it lighter or darker, but I just haven't been able to go and find them things right now. Money-wise, with it being Christmas, I may have put too much, but we'll make it work. But I like this foundation because it's not, it doesn't feel like it's caked on. It feels lightweight, and it does last throughout the day. I've got a new foundation that I did buy. It's Physician's Formula. I'm wanting to do it and do a uh, an all day wear test to see how it lasts throughout the day. I've worn it a couple of times and so far I'm not too, it's very lightweight, but, but I like this Wet n Wild foundation a lot. For a drugstore foundation, it is extremely, extremely good. So it is Tuesday morning and I work 12 hours a day at Fast Pace. Great place to work. And I'm off today until two o'clock. The girl that works with me um, is going to school, so her hours have to be certain times so she can attend school. So she works on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, she works <clears throat> till 2 o'clock and then I work from 2 to 8 and I like it because it gives me a chance to do stuff like this it gives me a chance to get caught up on my laundry and things like that um, I put in an order on romans.com romans fashion and on woman within on their catalog book and I'm hoping to do a video on what I ordered to see if it fits or not. I hope it does. Their sizes are so crazy because mostly I can wear 1820s and their stuff I get a 22, 24, but sometimes it's extremely big. If you've seen that one um, blouse I ordered, no, actually that was from Lane Bryant. I ordered a 22, 24 and it swallowed me whole. My husband said, that looks like you're a, a Martian is what he said I look like. I was like, well, that's going back. But yeah. Okay, so we got the foundation on. And I blend it down my neck just to, to kind of camouflage. And then rub it because you don't want them ha harsh marks down your neck. All right, so I'm going to put the top on my foundation. And next, we're going in with the Wet n Wild Concealer. And it's in light, light ivory. My eye is itching. I'm just going to put it under the eye. 
to brighten the eye up some. You can put it on the tip of your nose, on your cupid's bow, and on your chin, just to highlight those areas. I don't have all Wet n Wild products, but what I do have, I'm gonna use and then mix in some others that I need, like my powders, the ones that I like the best. I just bought, I just recently bought a new powder. It's a, uh, what do you call it? Translucent powder. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And it's the uh, Maybelline Fit Me. I've, I watch a lot of YouTube, if you can't tell. But they talk about it, or talked about it all the time. See how that just brightens up under the eyes? Makes you look more awake if you haven't had a whole lot of sleep, like I. And the bronzer I found in my drawer. Haven't used it for a very long time, but I did use it a lot at one time because all the printing's gone off of it. But it's a cream bronzer. It's in the color Call Me Maple. I haven't done this in a while, so with the cream kind, I'm gonna put it underneath my cheekbones, try to make it even. And I think that's, I'm gonna go right here a little bit. I was talking to a girl that I work with that does Botox, not to change the subject, but that does Botox, and I just lost my sponge, and uh, she was telling me that, cause I would love to have some Botox, something like that around my lips, a, a filler around my lips, because being a smoker or have been a smoker, you get all these wrinkles that you wouldn't normally get if you had never smoked. And I got all these little wrinkles where I pucker around my lips. So I would like to have a filler put in to plumping that back up. And I hate my jaws. I absolutely hate them. And it makes your side profile so much bigger but she was telling me there is this process that you can pay for that it fits underneath your jaw here. And then it has the areas where they shoot the stuff in. What that stuff is, I don't know. And then it kills all them fat cells. If I hope I'm explaining it right. But it kills all them fat cells underneath there. And they never come back. So you get rid of your jaws. But it's extremely expensive. But I tell you what, I hate mine so bad. I'm sa I'm saving my money, and I want to have that done. That is one of my goals for 2019, is to have my jaws disappear. But I am just blending this upwards into the cheekbone. I'm trying to make it look natural, like a shadow. I think that's good enough. One thing about the light in here, it, I have extra lighting, it's not plugged in, but it makes everything look good. Then when you get outside, you're like, bam! You know, it's extremely, extremely dark. But I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with my trusty Fit Me powder. I'm just dabbing on wherever I want it to be and let it bake a little bit and try and kind of just set my foundation. Can y'all hear my washer? I'm washing towels and stuff this morning while I'm off from work. It gives me a chance to get things like that done when I don't go in till two o'clock. But yeah, I've been at my new job for a month now. Absolutely love it. Love the people I work with. And I love meeting new people, and I love seeing people that I used to see at my old job because I used to work at Quick Care for Twin Lakes Hospital. And I switched from there to Fast Pace. And so I love seeing people that I haven't seen in a while that used to come over there. But yeah, um, okay, get back to makeup. I'm gonna dust that away. What I just put on there, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder.
Okay. Um, I'm going to put some primer on my eyelids, and I use the Milani eyeshadow primer. It's in a little tube like this. I've had this tube for months. It's not that expensive. They sell it at Walmart, and it, it makes your eyeshadows last all day long. They don't crease or anything like that. They just stay on the same way you put them on that morning. They're still on there that night. So we're going to put this all over the eyelid. I love putting on makeup, but the one thing that I hate to do is my brows. I absolutely hate my brows. But I take the little foot and brush my eyebrows up and just try to straighten them up some. And then I use the dark brown stay put brow color in a 05. I've got all different kinds. I think I got this one. Oh, it's Milani. I must have bought this one. I was thinking it come in my Ipsy bag or BoxyCharm. I didn't videotape my BoxyCharm this time when I got it because uh, I wasn't real happy with what I got. I got a um, iridescent powder, which I like my Fit Me, so I don't need no powder. Then I got a charcoal mask. I haven't tried it yet. I got another lip product, which was a clear uh, gel and gloss. I don't use those. I just like plain old lipsticks or a matte lipstick. Um, so don't use it. And then instead of an eyeshadow palette, that's why I get that's why I get the Boxy Charm is to get the eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes. I can't even talk. This time I didn't get that. I got the mini flat iron, which I like. I'm not dogging it. I like it, and it's perfect for my hair because my hair is so short. And it was in a blue color, I think, <clears throat> and it's worth $75, which is all good. But if I had to choose, if I'd got to chose which one I wanted, I would have definitely picked an eyeshadow palette. And which the flat iron will be good for when we go on our trips and stuff. We're going on another trip next week. Um, so it's good for things like that. I don't have to pack along my big one. And like I said, it's perfect for the length of my hair. I just go in on my eyebrows and I trace out where I want it. My eyebrows don't always turn out right or perfect. But I trace where I want it. It don't always go where I want it, but I hate doing brows. Absolutely hate it. You guys let me know below what part of makeup do you not like. And then I brush up where the hairs go and just kind of trace them out and then fill it in. And pray that I get them both the same size, <laughs> which very seldom ever happens. See, one looks longer than the other. Down and up, down and up. But I just keep fooling with them till I get them both about the same. And that's gonna have to work. Cause I ain't spending more, no more time on them cause I hate them. <clears throat> okay, one wet and wild product that I bought and it's like 98 cents and it's my holy grail for setting my primer and the base for the rest of my eyeshadow is this wet n wild eyeshadow single and it's in cream brulee or just brulee c348a I can't believe I can see this morning with my contacts I have went through five of these there is a lot of fallout but it's still well worth it. It does what I need it to do, and it lasts all day. I just go in and dust it over my eye primer, and it just sets a nice, clean base for my eyeshadow. I forgot to bring my coffee in here. Y'all might wanna get a cup of coffee, get your breakfast snack or something like that and then 
enjoy just chit-chatting with me while I get ready. I'm not going to edit this, so what you see is what you get. <clears throat> I'm not good at editing. I don't like to edit. I just, just don't. Okay, the palette we've got is not a basic peach palette. On the back, it's got ideas of how you can do your eyeshadows. And it tells you where to put it, what number, and blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And it's by Wet n' Wild, too. It's a new one. They, were, they come out with four new eyeshadow palettes for Wet n' Wild. So I'm super excited. I've only bought one so far. And my brush that I'm using doesn't have a name on it, but it's double-ended. I use the more flared out end and I think I'm going to go into the transition color here. I, it does have a lot of fallout so what I do is I get it on my brush and I tap to get all that excess off so maybe it won't fall below my eye. And I'm going right up above my crease and just wipe back and forth, back and forth to smooth it out, to make it not look so edgy. You want it to have a nice soft edge. And then sometimes I still end up with a, a harsh edge. So I'll go in with a clean brush and just swipe back and forth over it just to smooth it out. Today, I'm just going to do a basic look because I have to go to work. So, I'm not going to do nothing big and bold, which to me, this is bold, but not too bold. I got some, and speaking of eyeshadow palettes in the Boxy Charm, I got one in not long ago that has the brightest pinks, blues, greens, yellows, all fluorescent like colors. That one went in my drawer. That's just not something I'll use ever. So that was a waste. If anybody's interested in that palette, let me know in a comment below and I might sell it to you because it's just going to waste just sitting there in my drawer. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to, on my lid, I'm going to use this copper looking color, coppery orange, and it's got some glitter in it. And I'm going to rub that on my lid with my finger. Both sides. The colors kind of match. And then this brighter color here, the cream colored, I've got this little round tip brush. And I'm going to get in there like that. And I'm going to put it in the corners of my eye. Kind of brighten that up a little bit. And then I'm going to take my flat brush, if I can find it, and I'm going to use the same brown that I used on my upper lid underneath my eye and just smooth it out some. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner, but I'm going to do that off camera and do, whoops, I went too low, and do some eyelashes. I'm so used to doing eyelashes that I feel naked without them. Once you get used to doing eyelashes, it don't take two seconds to do it, but it took me forever to figure it out. But the trick to doing eyelashes is waiting long enough for that glue to get tacky before you place it on your eye. Because once you place it on your eye, if it's tacky, like it's supposed to be, it's not going to move. It'll stay right where you need it to. There's nothing going to pull it off. So the, the key to it is, is just waiting long enough for that glue to be tacky before you go to put it on your eye. So I sit there and I wave it back and forth and I'll blow on it for a good 60 seconds or more before I even attempt to put it on my eye. And I knock on wood, not had any problems out of them. <clears throat> I'm going to leave my um, eyeshadow open for a bit because after I do my eyeliner, I will go in and smudge out the eyeliner a little bit more. I'm using the Wet n Wild 
pearlescent pink, but it looks more peachy than it does anything. For my blush, I just roll it in there, tap off the excess smile, and I'm just gonna put it on the cheeks on each side. Tapping it just helps it get rid of the beauty guru by no means but I just like putting on makeup and playing and I like doing videos and I hope you guys enjoy watching my videos I hope I don't bore you too much but that is what I'm gonna do for the moment I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner and um, put my eyelashes on and then we'll be back and we'll try some lipstick and see what color is gonna go look good with this look be back I'm back, my eyelashes are on, and I spritzed my face with Milani Make It Last setting spray. <clears throat> I've got Wet n Wild, but it's just about out. I like it too, it makes your makeup last and stay put all day long. Um, we're gonna do our lips, and I don't know if I've got a peach wet and wild or not but I think I'm gonna do a peach color on my lips so we're gonna go in with this bottle graphy timber color lip pencil it's in a brownish color and we're gonna line the lips I'm not not the best at this not too dark and then I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild <coughs> in the color just peachy just a peach color I need to exfoliate my lips okay and then I've got a Holy Grail lip product. I've got, actually I've got four of them. They're wet and wild. And they are the Pout and Tail. These are my Holy Grail lip colors. They don't so much as have a color to them when you put them on the lips. But if you get a hold of a, a lipstick that's tacky or extremely dry, you can put these on top of it, which is what I always do because it is so creamy. They are the creamiest lipsticks. I've done videos on them before. They are my Holy Grails. They sell them at the drugstore and at Walmart. I think they sell them at Walmart. But it's Pout and Tail by Wet n Wild. You've got to try these out. They're extremely affordable, good drugstore lipsticks. More like a you could use them as a chapstick if you needed to. They're just so creamy and they last for so long, I think. That's just my opinion. Um, we're gonna go in with some Wet n Wild. Yeah, Wet n Wild Mega Link Purple. I use this one on my bottom lash because I don't have very big lashes. And the doe food that's on it makes it easy to get into my bottom lash. And we're just going to put some on there just to give it a little oomph, a little color on both sides. People make the funniest faces when they're doing mascaras and things like that. I haven't noticed any fallout from this mascara. But, I noticed that if I put the mascara on first and then I do my setting spray, it, it'll transfer onto your lid or your underneath your eye. So, I learned to do my setting spray first, then put on the mascara. And it works out a lot better. But, I just put a little bit of that on the bottom. And, that is the finished product. So, I'll try to link 
all these products that I used Wet n Wild below. So if you're interested in buying them, I'm hoping you'll be able to just click on that link and it'll take you straight to it and you can order it online. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Um, but if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and until I do another video, see you guys later. Bye.